For many years, it has been known that Super Mario Bros. 3 for the Famicom is slower than the NES. But is it? What are some of the things that make it slower? Is it loading times? Is it text? That can't be right. Normally text in Japanese is much faster for video games. Is it frame rate? I was always under the impression the NES and Famicom had the same frame rate. So what is it? Well, there's only one way to find out the overall time save versus time loss. Leave it up to me, Mitch Flower Power, to end this once and for all. The final battle between the NES and the Famicom. One of the most common things that people understand to be slower on the Japanese version is the loading times into the levels. Essentially the main reason for this version to be slower. This is known and not a mystery, but what might be a mystery to some is that this also applies to the pipe transitions. Let's take a look at World 7 as an example. Every pipe transition is additional time, just like entering levels. Loading times is one of many things in this version that contribute to being either slower or faster. That's right, some things are actually faster and it's been a long road for Mario 3 with a lot of new time saves and tricks. But before we get too far ahead of ourselves, let's first start with the obvious, loading times. First we need to establish a way to time the loading for both versions and then we will multiply that by how many levels there are. Let's use the any% warpless category for today's experiments, as this category will likely be the only one that stands any chance of competing with the NES version. I have decided to use 1-3 as the guinea pig for today. If I use the star and enter the level, I'll be able to hold forward without any slowdowns, turnbacks, and build P-Speed in the same spot every time. This will give me insane accuracy for a timing method. Let's time the English version first to see what we're up against. Don't worry about all the numbers moving at the bottom. This is a practice ROM and it's displaying information like speed, subpixels, and input display. Now that we got that out of the way, let's do this. Six seconds and 46 frames. I'm very curious to the exact time difference between the two. So let's get to it right away. Seven seconds and 12 frames for a total of 26 frames slower for each transition. But how many transitions are there? First we need to figure out what all types of transitions there are to make sure we count them all. We have levels, hammer bros, castles, pipe transitions including the twisty castle, and Bowser's castle. Let's start counting. World 1 has 7, World 2 has 9, World 3 has 11, World 4 has 9, World 5 has 12, World 6 has 11, World 7 has 13, and World 8 has 11, totaling 83 transitions, given we get no hands and no extra hammer bros. How many frames or seconds is this time loss? Let's do the math. We have 83 transitions times 26 frames per transition, giving us a total of 2,158 frames. And since there is 60 frames per second, we will divide 2,158 by 60, and that gives us 35.9666. Let's round it up to 36 seconds total for all transitions. Wow, I honestly thought it was going to be a lot longer than that. Ignoring that for a while, let's move on to our next time difference, text. Text only appears when you start a castle, finish a castle, and Peach's letter. There is also text in Mushroom Houses and Spade Roulette games, but we don't do any of those in a run, so we will ignore them. The text from Peach's letter is fully written when you see it, so there is no time lost or gain from the letter. Both times the king talks, the text is played out in real time, and that's where we can either save or lose time. Much like 1-3, we need to find the best way to time the difference, so let's start with pressing A on the castle till the frame Mario lands on the airship. Then we will do it from when Mario grabs the wand until the first frame he appears on the map. One thing to note is it's very possible that there is a 1-2 to two frame difference if my mashing is not perfect at Peach's letter. Alright, let's do this!
We get nine seconds on the dot. Now let's do the Japanese version. Wow, seven seconds and 28 frames. Before we start doing all the math, let's see if the end ship times change. Seventeen thirty eight. Now let's do the Japanese version. Fifteen thirty eight for the Japanese version. Exactly two seconds faster for the end ship. Hold on though, we have one more comparison. Did you all forget that when you beat the world with a different suit, the king gives you a different message? In Warpless, it's only with the hammer suit at the end. So let's see if it makes any difference. Seventeen thirty seven. Well, the hammer suit made no difference on the English version. Let's try the Japanese version now. Fifteen thirty-seven. I'm glad we tested this. Unfortunately, there's no time difference, and we can now leave the different king's message idea in the dust. Let's move on to our next thing. Oh, you thought that was it? Nope. Here comes five one. Remember in one of my previous videos where I mentioned that in the Japanese version of five one, you can control which glitch item you get at the end. The item from the last Hammer Brother that you fought will be the glitched item in 5-1. Um, yeah, does anyone know what our last Hammer Bro item is? If you guessed the cloud, you are absolutely right. This means we can get an extra cloud in the Japanese version of Mario 3. How, you might ask? Let me show you. Let me begin with timing three different versions of 5-1. One way with the P-Wing and grabbing the music box. One way with the Fire Flower and doing the pseudo stutter step and the last way doing the glitched item with the cloud. Nine forty six, now Fire Flower. Pretty much 11 seconds flat. 
Now it's time to test the glitch item to see how long it is. This is looking pretty good. Seems to be about 17 seconds and 9 frames. Just a reminder, we will be doing all the math at the end, so let's move on to our next time difference. 641. Actually, 61 was originally thought to be a bad thing in the Japanese version. However, if you use a star, it ends up being the same time as the original version. Normally the star we use here would be used on 72, but if you remember, in Fast 72, we don't need the star anymore. So it just happens to work out perfectly that we have an extra star. Did anyone forget 1-5? Normally you slide down and take damage and go from Leaf to Big Mario. But not in the Japanese version. This is a section that can possibly lose you time, but it doesn't have to. If you get lucky enough from the Hammer Bro, you can actually get your mushroom back and grab fire on the airship, instead of grabbing the mushroom from 1-6, which is obviously slower. Let's do a time comparison between 1-5 grabbing mushroom and 1-5 not grabbing mushroom on the Japanese version to see what the RNG here controls. Cross those T's and dot those I's. Nine seconds and ten frames. Now without getting the mushroom. Oh, 8.11. Exactly a second slower. You better hope to get good RNG in World 1. Everything else in the Warpless run, aside from the examples I've shown, are the same, other than having this cloud. This is very important. Where do we use this cloud? Since we get the cloud after 5-1, we will have to limit which levels we can skip. Testing the timings for levels has happened many times, and we already know the longest level to skip will be World 8 Fort. Doing this will allow us to skip 7-9, which we already do, and now skip 8-4 in one run together. If you decide to try for the four clips in 7-9 and get them perfect, then you can skip 7-4-2 and 8-4. Without making things too complicated, going for the clips in 7-9 is something that will be ultimately faster, but in this situation you'll have to get all four clips first try for you to have to skip 7-4-2. Even doing two clips first try and playing the level perfectly will still end you with the same time as doing 742. Eighteen seconds and four frames. That's exactly what we want to see. Now let's take a look if we get all four clips first try.
14 seconds and 55 frames. Not even that much faster. Now the moment you've all been waiting for. The conclusion. Is everyone ready? This is gonna be a lot. Starting with transitions, we have 83. During the example of time saves, from the starting castle, we can remove seven from the 83 since the transition to the castles is included in the time comparison. So 83 minus seven is 76. Plus the comparison of 5-1, bringing it down to 75 transitions. So we have 75 times 26 frames at 60 FPS is 1,950 frames. Convert that to real time and we get one minute and five seconds. That is the time we are looking to cut down. Moving on to text. The starting airship is one second and 42 frames faster at 60 FPS on the Japanese version. If we convert that to real time, we get three seconds and 12 frames. Times that by seven airships and we get 23 seconds and 24 frames. Hold that number. Now we need to do the end airship times, which is exactly two seconds faster than the English version at 60 FPS. Convert that to real time and we get four seconds. Now times that time by seven airships and we get 28 seconds total. Add the two times together, giving us a total of 51 seconds and 24 frames real time. Minus 51 seconds and 24 frames from one minute and five seconds and the total number is 13.2 seconds time loss on the Japanese version. 5-1. The time difference from 5-1 without the glitch is 9 seconds and 46 frames at 60 FPS. Convert that to real time and we get 19 seconds and 16 frames. The glitched item is 17 seconds and 9 frames at 60 FPS. Convert that and we get 34 seconds and 9 frames. Minus 19 seconds and 16 frames from 34 seconds and 9 frames and we get 14.2 seconds in real time. Now we can add 14.2 to 13.2, giving us a total of 27.4 time loss on the Japanese version. Given we have an extra cloud, we can now see how much time we save from skipping 8 fort. 8 fort is 21 seconds and 14 frames at 60 FPS. Convert that to real time and we get 42 seconds and 14 frames or 42.5 seconds. If we minus that time from the overall time loss of 27.4 seconds, we get a total of 15.1 seconds time saved. If we do all four clips in 7.9 on the English and Japanese version, the difference will be 7.42, as that will be the only extra level to cloud on in the Japanese version. The fortress gets 17 seconds at 60 FPS, totaling 34 seconds in real time. If this route is chosen, then the time difference will no longer be 15.1. We now have to remove 34 seconds from 27.4, which was the original time loss before any clouds were used. This gives us 6.6 .6 seconds time saved on the Japanese version. That was a hell of a lot to take in. But it turns out the Japanese version is actually faster. This is huge. And it's not like the glitch is hard or anything either. There are a few things to note. Taking an extra hammer bro will make this time save hard to see. But it's the same deal on the English version too. And I bet you could do the 5-1 glitch faster as well. All it takes is for other runners to pick this up, and next thing you know, the Japanese version will become 16 seconds faster, then 17 seconds faster. Who knows? All I know is it's time to start practicing on the Japanese version. Thanks everyone for watching, and damn, this was epic.